Okay, I'm finally perfect, you know? Y'all already know what it is, and if you don't, then a great many fresh will enlighten you. Ladies and gentlemen, we Hello, ladies and gentlemen, it is Henry or Lib Shorty here. Um, I am back with some more Black Ops 2 footage. <laughs> Shout out to White Boy 7th Street. Uh, if you guys don't know who that is, he's not that big of a channel. Uh, he's, but he has some really good content. Very funny guy. Um, that's his intro, so I re very highly recommend go checking him out. Um, yeah, in this video, really quickly before I started up, I just want to give some shout outs to some guys who, uh, they're pretty good commentators on YouTube, if I do say so myself. Um, they, they don't have the biggest of channels, nothing like this, but they are great commentators. Their comment is great, content is great. So, uh, yeah, really quick shout out to, uh, 402 Thunder 402. Um, he's very good, really fun guy to watch, but, uh, once again, not that big of a channel. He, he doesn't have the amount of subs that I do, nowhere near it. <laughs> um, also, some other guys, just like... Um, this guy, T-M-A-R-T-N, T-Martin, um, he's, he has some great tips and tricks, uh, so yeah, definitely check him out, once again, not too big of a channel, but I thought I'd just be a nice guy and shout him out, because that's just the kind of guy I am, so, uh, yeah, um, that's enough shoutouts, <laughs> yeah, that, <laughs> that'd be, <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm laughing, um, yeah, that was just a joke in case you guys could not tell. <laughs> um, yeah, anyway, we're playing on Slums, uh, Hardpoint. The game's already started, so gotta quickly explain my setup. Um, yeah, we're playing on Slums with that MSM Sizzle class that I used in uh, my last commentary. Still has the suppressor. It still has the UAV, the AGR, and the stealth chopper. Still got lightweight, ghost, we got tech mask. We got Engineer, and to go hand-in-hand hand with that Engineer, we got two black hats. That is right, not one, not three, but two. Um, so yeah, in this game, I mean, I don't don't expect me to go, like, just ridiculously ham and get, um, I don't know, like, 70 kills and five deaths, because I don't, if you were here for an amazing game like that, I mean, just leave, but hear me out really quickly. In this game, I, I do put up a pretty good score. I mean, I go like, I don't know. I think like, I get I get like a little less under um, a 4KD, which is by no means bad, but it's not like quote unquote YouTube quality, except for the fact that I do, I play the objective pretty like hard in this game. Um, I, I always thought of myself like as an objective player, I value winning over KD. Um, which I think is not that easy to find on YouTube. Um, or maybe not hard, but it's like not as many big people are like that. Um, yeah, I, I love, uh, well, I'd rather win the game and get a bad KD than get a, an amazing KD but lose the game. So uh, I play the objective a lot here. Like, you'll see at the end, just pay attention. Um, I just anticipate the rotations. I didn't know the exact rotation of uh, the hard points on slums but after the first time I had to pick up on it so I could get there first and get our team the points as you can see we got off to like a kind of slow start and we're losing but um that's beside the point like like I was saying before there are not a lot of commentators on YouTube who put up objective gameplay or who at least just simply commentate over objective play gameplay I mean there's some people who are like give tips over objective gameplay because it showcases their tip or something but um yeah i feel like youtube is i mean youtube gameplays are about just getting as the highest kill death you can and getting as many kills as you can um it doesn't matter how i mean i personally think it's more exciting to see someone in the thick of the action when um someone getting a high kill streak gets or gets a high kd maybe in the action for one kill streak and then they get a couple gun kills but just let their um, kill streaks just do all the work. And look at that low AGR and financing. And can I get the stealth chopper? That is the question. <laughs> oh gosh, caught me in my reloading, and I was upset there. I wanted that stealth chopper to go hand in hand with my AGR. But oh well, you can't win them all. You cannot win them all. Uh, so yeah, I feel like just there's a total lack of 
um, gameplay. There's total lack of uh, objective gameplay on YouTube, which kind of sucks. I mean, if you're an objective player, I mean, like my friends and I, we we all value winning over getting KDs. Me, Teddy, uh, Andrew, Peter, Peter especially, Chase. But um, yeah, Peter. Like, okay, we all we all have above one win losses and above one KDs, and we like to keep it up there. But Peter. And our score per minutes, I would like to think, are pretty good. But Peter, I mean, his KD, like, if you looked at him in a lobby, a lobby where you just, uh, you know, you get into a lobby and you quickly check the KDs to see if the, the enemy team is good, you see him and he, his KD is, like, I don't know, it's it's not what you would expect, a, like, a good player's KD to be. But, I mean, if you just watch him play, he goes so ham on the objective. It is absolutely ridiculous. I mean, he just comes out, it's like, no big deal, gets plus 30 confirms when we're playing in, in our full party or, like, four-man or five-man party. Like, I mean, that might not seem like a lot. Like, 30 confirms, yeah, that's a lot. But that's so many when you're playing with a full party of people who, like, who want to try and win and who want to play the objective. I mean, when we get into a lobby... And you check the lobby leaderboard, he is always at the top every single time. Hard point, top. Kill confirm, top. The only thing he might not be at the top at is team deathmatch because there's no real objective there. But yeah, Peter, I, I mean, when you play with Peter, he, he does not let you lose. If you're losing, he is, he is freaking out. He is, oh, and look at that C4 death. I really have not used the C4 that much in this game. I don't know, that might just be me, but yeah. Peter, I mean, we all play the objective pretty hard, um, I'm gonna try and bring you guys, like, a live commentary session of just us all playing, because, I mean, honestly, we pretty, we have some pretty funny stuff, I mean, Peter, <laughs> I remember last year, Peter, uh, Teddy and I, uh, and Peter had physics together, and Peter, and, like, right when Model Room Fair 3 came out, Peter played it so much, I mean, <laughs> He played it a lot, and he was pretty good at it, and he came up with a song uh, for Modern Warfare 3. It was very funny. He's like, I think I'm going ham. Get money. I think I'm going ham. Give me the bitches. <laughs> and he would just sing that over and over, and he had this whole dance to it. And it, it was just, it was so funny. It was one of the funniest things. Um, yeah, Peter, uh, Peter's very funny. He would make fun of these kids in our class, too. I mean, like, we were friends with them. It's not like... We were mean to them or anything, but we, it was like uh, making fun, like joking around with them. And here I'm just looking for that UAV, cannot find it. But yeah, um, these these kids like who uh, really like dubstep and go dubstep mu music, and people just make fun of them. Like there's um there's this experiment, uh, not experiment, but like demonstration where um there's like gas put like gas was put into a uh, a tube like kind of a a tube yeah and there are holes and fire would like come up and it was connected to like a wire like where you could play sound out of and um and there was like little flames coming out of all these holes on the top of the tube and when the song would play um oh and look at that low agr on financing and stealth chopper towards the end of the game but yeah so when the song would play the the flames would go up and down according to the um According to the beat, and so these guys who like dubstep, they put in the dubstep music, and <laughs> and so like the flames did pretty cool stuff. They just like bounce up and now. But Peter just like would go up to them and go like play levels, dude, <laughs> and we would we would just crack up. Uh, so yeah, Peter, very funny guy. <laughs> um, this video is winding down pretty soon. Um, let's see what the final score is. Let's see. Look at that. Look at that. Look at the score right now. I mean we. We were down, we were down uh, at the beginning of the game, and there it just ends it, we end it. Final score, 39 and 11, 12 caps, 12 defense, 6,500 points. That's crazy. But uh, yeah, that's all for me for today. Stealth Chopper getting the final kill. Um, yeah, it's been Henry or Lib Shorty. I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I'll see you guys later. Peace. For real. You're murking them. I'm any fresh, you're murking them.